So hello friends, let's begin with the web services. Now what is a web service? A web service is an entity or a component that can be remotely invoked over the internet to provide a particular functionality to any number of applications. It means a web services can be used to service many clients applications over internet. For example, e-commerce sites can use the web services of a shipping company to calculate the cost of a shipment. If we we'll see the example of a flip cart. A flip cart when you purchase something on a flip cart the items can be saved into your shopping cart and at the end payment can be done in a single billing section. Similarly, a second example is of a news site. A news site can retrieve the news headlines produced with external news providers and display them on its own pages in real time. If you see this diagram, a client application is sending the request over HTTP to the web server. Now web server consists of a number of web services available into it and provides an reply response in the format of XML. So this whole process is actually is going on over internet. Now this terminology SOAP stands for simple object access protocol. This protocol will provide an XML format for the message. Now let's see what are the benefits of web services. Sir, web services are simple. It means they can be used to implement on various platforms. They are loosely coupled. Their interfaces and methods can be extended. Stateless means they do not carry any state of information within them. And finally they are firewall friendly. It means they are not affected by any of the firewalls. Now these are the some web services standards or you can say these are the components of web services. The first component is WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language which is used to create an interface definition for a web service. The WSDL document tells a client what methods are present in a web service, what parameters and return values each method uses and how to communicate with them. The second component is SOAP Simple Object Access Protocol which allows web services to communicate with other web services or other applications over internet and provides the format for XML messages. The another component is DISCO that is discovery which creates a list of related web services in a file called disco file. The last standard is UTDI that is universal description discovery and integration which is a centralized directory where different web services offered by different organizations are published. So these are the some standards of web services. Now let's see how to create or build web service. So I'm just creating a new project. Just the change. I'll just change the name to practical the nine.
select an empty application so here i need to create a separate web service so i'm just adding add and new item and just below you'll find web services then extension dot asmx so i'm just creating my web service So you'll find is similar to your class which inherits system.web.services.webservice. Now initially it has one method which is an hello world method <clears throat> and a predefined structure for it like we have to add a web method over there. So here I'll add my own method just paste it here and I'll just write my own method for let's say addition of two numbers so I'm passing the parameter let's say x well, let's take a second as a y so in return it will return the addition of these two numbers let's save this similarly if I need to provide the subtraction of two numbers so I'll add one more method that is for that says subtraction of a numbers and it will return a subtraction. So this is how we have created a web service. It will have an extension dot asmx. Now once we have added or created the web service, the next thing is we need to create a client. As we are working on the local system, so here our local host is your server. So now I am adding a new application, ace.net application, add new item. I am just creating an application, or let's say a web form. Just provide the name my first dot aspx. So this is my asp.net application where we have a form tag and we can design a form with some text with input text box and a button control. So I'm just designing a form for inputting two numbers. So this will be my text, let's say first number, then I'll have text second number, and then I'll have one label control where I can display the resultant. So this will be my LBL, let's say result. And the third, fourth control will be my a button control which will provide some action. So here it will be a btn. Let's say add. Let's give this as addition. And I'll take one more control for let's say subtraction. btn subtraction. So this will be subtraction. So this is my form. Now the next thing is we need to add the web reference for the web services that you've already created in your application. So in this first .aspx you must have a reference of these web services. Now just add the reference by right clicking on the project and add a service reference over here.
Now here initially there will be no services and operations available. Just click on the discover and you will find a specific ASMX file which is your web service. So you'll find so it has some errors and we need to I think solve the errors first. Just we need to build this. So build successfully, then you can go for add. Service reference. Uh, directly if you want just discover it so if you have an advanced option also you click on the advanced option add web reference to search the web services in your own solution in the local machine or a UDDI server so initially your web services will be in this specific solution only so this is my web service So it will found and it, by default it will take the name as a localhost. So you will find these are the methods available in my web service. If you click on this, you will find here this SOAP format and it will provide you an XML uh, format also to just put the input over there. So invoke it, you will provide the output in an XML format. See, 55. Now, this functions are ready. You can just add the reference here on your application. So, you'll see here a web reference have been added. Now, come back to your first .aspx which is your kind client application now here you can directly add localhost dot my web service name and you just create the object of that web service new local so here you have added the reference of that particular web service now if you just come to the designing part of it So here when you click on addition so you need to have a label result dot text equals to obj dot you need to have addition of numbers so you'll see here addition num is coming here so we just put convert dot to in 32 first xbox value Similarly, second text box value should be converted to integer. Initially, it will take the value as a string. So, there is a function available for converting that string into the integer dot text. And as we are showing the output on the label control, it is expecting the output in the string format. So, we are just converting the entire number into the string later on. This is the addition of this number. Similarly, uh, just come back to your subtraction button, double click on it and display the output in the same way. So here subtraction, just call the method subtraction is over. Just build the application once, build the solution once 
and try to execute our application. Right click, see the output in the browser. So let's input the numbers. Let's say 23, 23. When I click on the addition, it will display the output 46, which is actually coming from the web service method. Similarly, if I click on the subtraction, it will display the zero. So the methods are actually written in the web services, and we are just invoking those methods on a client side. Now the similar type of application you can create to fetch the record from the database and the functions that we can provide in our web services. So that could be one of the interesting tasks we can have where we can fetch the record from the database by using our web services. Thank you.